Question number 21 from the 2019 Geometry End of Course Test in Ohio. Tricia wants to create a perpendicular bisector of segment AB. She places her compass on point A and opens it with a width equal to length of line segment AB. She makes arcs above and below the line segment. So it's going to be difficult for me to show you without a digital compass. But let me just, here's line segment AB. She wants to make the perpendicular bisector. She places her compass at point A. So that's like the pointy part here. And then she um, opens it to the width. So their line segment is on B. So that means that this is the pencil part. And then she makes an arc. This arc that she makes, she makes arcs above and below her line segment. So let me just get real crazy. So she could make a continuous arc like this. That'd be cool. Or she could just do this part and this part. Either way. What would she do next? That's what this question is asking. In order to make a perpendicular bisector. Most of the time when you're making constructions, you're always doing everything twice. So we had the pen, we had the pointy part at A, placing the compass. Pencil was at B. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Place the compass on point B and complete the same step that she did for, for uh, point A. So visually, we would be making an arc like this on the other side. And we would have this perpendicular bisector. Just ask for the next step. So that's what it is, yada, 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 yada.